For the first time in our rank series here, you can see we're actually pretty close to filling up our bar. If we could do that today, I'm pretty sure we can jump straight through silver and hopefully get straight to gold, which would be a nice little boost and a good start to our little series here. Just a reminder, the entire point of this series is that the entire time we're queuing, we're going to be only queuing as Phil and nothing else. So whatever role we get, we're going to go ahead and play it out. And we're going to see how high on the rank ladder we can go ahead and climb with that fact. All right, in the P's and B's here, and we did get support again. Uh, you guys did give me some good feedback last time I asked you if you cared if I actually do try to like trade people for roles, and you guys for the most part were like, hey, you know, go do whatever you want. At the same time that we want to see you play this series out, and we want to see you have fun too. And I was like, you know, I appreciate that. And then someone also had me a really good comment where they were like, Either way, you did queue Phil into the lobby, even if you do trade for a different role. And I was like, you know what, that's a good point. So I really appreciated the feedback on that. And a few people telling me that they do want to see the P's and B's, and the ones that don't can go ahead and skip straight to the gameplay. Because uh, as I've said, I am an alumni of Yap University. I do like talking, uh, and I usually have some stuff to say here in the P's and B's that I can get out here. And then once we get into the gameplay, I can start focusing on that completely. Now, all that said, yesterday we had an Odin support, day before that we had Ganesha support, so we're just doing support right now, that's where they were shoving me with this fill, nobody wanted to trade me, so that's what we're going to be playing today. I could do another warrior support, uh, I could just grab a simple Horus, uh, the Odin is actually banned, which is funny, good thing we used that yesterday. Uh, Horus, like we said, is always just a good support, and I do want to keep playing these kind of aggressive ones. Um, at some point I'll show you my... Achilles support most likely because that's another one that I really do love. I, I played a few guys I think in a casual match one time uh, but Horus is just a baller, easy to play god, and can be very very effective. Obviously his 2 is very good for easy, easy setup with his root or it's just a full stun on that I believe. Um, good damage on that and then your 1 has a knock up on it which is also a slow with the uh, range auto that it creates. Your 3 is good just to get yourself out of trouble, reposition very quickly while at the same time giving you and your teammates some heals and protections. And then we have our 4 which obviously is going to let us just team uh, teleport our entire team, is what I'm trying to say, to whatever position we choose, give them all a bunch of shields and stuff, do some damage, and I believe a knockup also on the actual landing and some damage. So obviously you're not using it mostly for like the damage, but actually repositioning your team to objectives, maybe into a titan room even, so you have extra shields when you go in, and you can just do some good stuff with that. You can even use it to save a teammate, perhaps. If you're running away, or if they're fighting and you want to get in and just land on them, provide them a shield and some damage, and then you're instantly in the fight with them. There's a lot of good stuff that Horror provides as well as his passive actually which just got buffed a little while ago i believe and i can show you when we get in game here or actually if you click on your if you don't know you can click on your player portrait right here and it does show you all your abilities and stuff so i can show you right now we have resolute as our passive so each time horus is damaged by an enemy god he gains a stack of resolute and it's pretty funny we'll see if they pick set but they have a, a unique interaction horus and set do because they're brothers and they're always like fighting in the egyptian lore we don't need to get into that right now but <laughs> if it was set gain hitting you you get two stacks but no set so far, so we're just going to say if we get hit, we're going to get a stack, and each stack gives you increased protections and CCR, which is crowd control reduction, which just means less time that crowd controls last on you. I know some of you are new, and I'm using this series more so to teach, so in case you are a little newer, then that's what CCR means. It's just crowd control reduction. Crowd control is anything from a root to a stun to a slow, and those will get reduced when you have better CCR. I believe that does cap out as 40%, just like cooldown does. Resolute stacks to a max count of 10 for 3 seconds, and then when it fades, Horus is healed based on the amount of stacks. So if you get hit a bunch, once those all come back, you can see 4 plus 0 0.8 per level. And uh, you can do the math on that to figure out how much that would be at level 20 there. Although, it's less than 1 per stack. So it'd probably be like around 15. So you probably get like around 19 health per stack from your passive healing at level 20. That's just quick maths, which might be completely wrong because math is the subject that I always hated the most. <laughs> I'll actually have a worse producer here really quickly. XP in favor and stuff because I've been building those up a little bit here, uh, especially since I have to get this god actually some worse first because I have not played a too much horrors, but like I said, he's a pretty easy god. This is one of those gods who has a very low skill floor, which I like when gods like that exist. They don't all have to be like that and they shouldn't all be like that. But I like that Horus is, because anybody can walk in and just play him and do well with him, and that makes me happy. Um, but he has a pretty high skill ceiling, actually, knowing when to use your ultimate in actual good scenarios in terms of your positioning and whatnot, too, especially. Uh, and then your 2 and your 3, knowing how to space those out so that you get the maximum efficiency from their CCs is important as well. Because, as far as I remember, and this could be changed, knockups are the one CC in the game that is not able to be... CCR'd 
which is you cannot reduce the duration on a knockup, and you cannot uh, DR from it either, which is diminishing returns. And diminishing returns, we can talk about in a second, but let's go ahead and start whatever we want to build here, and then we'll go from there. Um, we'll probably just start the knockup. It's good for your clear and whatnot, especially on lanes, but with camps as well. I'm going to go for a Warflak. Very similar build to what we did with our Odin yesterday, just going straight for Prophetic here to get some cooldowns, to get some one of each, you know, protections there, and then some health going, and obviously the passive stacking as early as possible would be very good for us. I could go for a blink to be very aggressive, but since we have a good amount of movement already in our kit, I don't particularly need to do that. We're going to be in lane against a Charybdis and a Kuzumbo, so we need to think about what they have. Charybdis has a slow on her too, I'm pretty sure, and Kuzumbo has a slow when he hits you with his Kappa, so I could counter that by going a Heavenly Wings. I could also counter them by getting a Horrific Emblem, and that could slow them down, maybe we could chase them down and get some kills, especially with a Medusa who should have some pretty good clear, and she is starting actual attack based and not ability based, so her clear will be a little less from that, but still good. I'll make sure we get this Baron through here, and then since I'm going to get that, I'll get some uh, multi pots too. I think what I'm going to do is actually go for the heavenly wings it's something that i quite like and we'll see how that goes for us and then we'll get a horn shard and like we said we already have our pots here so we'll kick it out of base so diminishing returns if you don't know what those are uh most people just call them drs but fully is diminishing returns it's exactly what it kind of sounds like but obviously there's some more uh, nuance to it so i can explain that to you essentially when you keep getting hit with crowd controls let's say you got hit with two stuns in a row right and the first stun hello there do I have any emotes? Just not good. Let's say have fun and good luck to the teammates. Um, the first stun hits you and you're stunned for a second because you have no diminishing returns on you and you have no crowd control reduction. And we're not even going to factor in crowd control reduction as I'm talking here. We'll just say complete diminishing returns. Knock all this up, hit it with your range basic. You can see that stacks up pretty good. I need to check my... Uh... Okay, instant cast on my 4 and my 1. We'll use one of our multipots. Sorry, says Maman Bridget. Interesting. I'm sure they're fine. Um, so that first stun, since it's no diminishing returns on you, is just going to go ahead and stun you for that whole second. Very nice. Now, if you got hit by a second stun that lasted for a second, I'm going to go ahead and two this guy. Be careful right, says my mom. Heard that. We like calls. I'm going to push this a little bit. I'm gonna sprint her. I'm trying to catch this guy. Hit them both. Yeah, I wanted to catch up and see if we could do something there. We do still have a Maman here. I'm gonna go ahead and stun. Remember, she already used. Yep, there it is. Knock up coming right now here to use this push. Careful there, Maman. Awesome. We're fine, we're fine. You wanna do this before you leave? It's gonna be up in just a second. No, you dipping out? You're good. You're all good. Let's get this Dusa. Yeah, I'll attack. That was from Amon. Oh, she's fighting in the jungle there. Shoot. Well, we went the other way, unfortunately, so that's too bad. Anyways, let me try to actually finish off talking to you guys here about what diminishing returns. You'll let her get last hit here. Um, But, essentially, that second stun, if it was going to hit you for a full second, let's say you got 20% from your first stack of diminishing returns. I actually don't know the exact numbers on that, so forgive me, but that's not exact. Um, then it would hit you for 0. 0.80 seconds is how long you'd be stunned on that, you know? Because that 20% knocks off 20% of that stun. So that's what Diminishing Returns do. And it's just kind of a mechanic to put in the game so that you can't just sit there. This is going to be hard for us. Oh, he surrendered it. Let me go and hit this wave here. Because we need to kill it. Let's go ahead and heal her. I have my last multi pot ticking, so might as well use some mana here. But yeah, that's how diminishing returns work. It's just a good mechanic, especially for like the front lines where you can't just get infinitely put in stuns and all this shiz. It, it just helps you out there. Beautiful push up. I'm gonna use my three on her. You all see how I'm slow there because the cap hit me. You wanna go for the purple? I'm gonna ping it, and if she wants to, we can. Okay, be careful left is not be careful right, which means hopefully we're good here. This is up. Thought it would be. Our two does hit minions, but it doesn't uh, apply CCs to it, really. Knocking up. Got that? Good. Nice job. 
Ping's on right, saying help. Who is Maman? Yeah, we can get that. Sorry, I was looking at the uh, mini map and other stuff, not paying attention to all the scooters around us. Let's go ahead and heal her really quick. Wait for this wave to group a little bit. Are they bickering at each other or? I take no issue with is this up? Awesome. Okay. We're out of pots, so we're kind of chilling on that. But so far, so good. We've got a lot of pressure here, and this is kind of what I showed you yesterday, where we play these warrior supports because they have more damage than your classic guardian support. Kind of moving my mic there, so apologies if it sounded weird for a second. Um, let you get some good early pressure, especially if you have a nice gank like that. Really nice gank there. Love to see that, so. Okay, she's going to trade for it, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm honestly just going to use all my mana here because I have a, enough to get my full prophetic here. Um, so I'd rather just get back to base. But if she wants to do one more wave, I'll do one more wave with her. Just because the wave's already here, so you might as well. She'll probably use her spit on this, so I can just... There it is. Beat it up pretty easy. Okay. Be careful here, just because I'm not going to be there. Just got to try to make sure your ADC sees that you're not going to be there. I heard all gank right lane, which is coming from Amon Brigette. See that in the chat there. Kuzumbo is in middle lane now, which means he's trying to force my hand into rotating. As long as my Baron plays a little safe, then we're not completely fine. I don't have to over-rotate yet. I do still want to rotate, though, because I want to put some presence on this map. Now, here's where I can actually ult. We're up here. There we go. You want to grab this one, Mon? I'll start it up. One stack in our prophetic already. Love to see it. That was a nice gank by her. I didn't need to use my ult there. They probably would have secured it either way. But, go ahead and put that down there. Doesn't this ward look like a turkey before I place it? Like when it's just blue like this, it looks like a turkey, and then I place it. Interesting. I guess we're ganking middle, though, so it's okay. Kid might try to push me. He might throw a nanny at me. Just heal our boy here. CC chain this kid a bit. No squirries, bro. I'm actually going to change my two to an instant cast. I didn't have it on there because I like reminding myself of ranges of abilities before I go too crazy with them. Uh, but I'll actually switch that over. Need help in Stein's clearing? Nah, I'm going to help you. <laughs> I mean, I'm literally rotating around trying to get fast farm. So there's really no reason for me not to help you out. I can just run at this guy a little bit. Oh, I forgot to put that on instant cast. Ah, uh, he knows. I was hoping he'd walk to their blue, but we got their blue anyways. Which is nice, I can take that. Arthur should already have his blue. Bye, why don't you gank? I need to actually... Okay. I wanted to make sure I dashed to him before he got hit by an Osiris ult, because if he did, it would apply 100% anti-heal, and then if I 3'd to the Arthur, he wouldn't get any healing from my 3. So I need to make sure I hit him with my 3 before that happened. Okay, there's a dude behind us. Uh, Baron, these are up. Do you want to help me with those? I would love to get some Farmingtons here. Okay, big man here. Knock this guy out. Maybe Baron hits an ability off of it. Nor? Or Nor? Looks like it's not going to be that. Alright, cool. I'll take the push for him. I'm not going to use my other ability here. I'll secure that. Go ahead and use my dash here so I don't get pushed into tower any harder. And we got a scepter popping up here. Go ahead and stun that guy out. Knocking up. Trying to slow both, but only hit one. We got a heal right here. And I'll probably back here in a second. So I can get a T2 of a Breastplate of Valor. I believe the tier 2 is 1450, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's actually 1050. It's a cheaper one. I forgot the tier 3 is what's a little more expensive on this one here. Almost level 9, then we can get our last point in our 1. And our ult. I have 21 seconds left on my 
blue buff, so hopefully my green buff lasts long enough. And I have my ult up, so I'd like to actually gank right. I'm going to say I'll gank right lane. But she's backing. Okay. She's going to back, then no worries. I'll go to a yellow tiki, it's some extra penetration. Could be nice for us to go ahead and do some more damage to these guys with that. And we can pick that up now. And beat the snot out of these guys. Can you give me level 9, or do you just, like... I don't know, you just jacking off in the jungle here? That's totally me in the Amazon. Oh, shit. I was just looking to ult in there, but... Unfortunately, it's not going to be a situation. Yeah. I think Lancelot's going left, and I think the other ones are going right. Ah, darn. Well, I might gank right. Let me put a ward here. Interesting. Is she falling all the way back? She is. Man, I mean, I'm not surprised that they... Enemy missing left. Your okay. Tower is under attack. I'm looking at their purple is going to be up here soon too. Because our purple is coming up very soon. If they're on the same time frame, Ooh, that look okay. like then it could be good to grab theirs. That's something you need to do is deny XP and whatnot. Four lol. Okay, wow. Well, she's doing fine there by herself, so screw that. Somebody obviously said, hey, Cryptus, they're coming over. Hopefully she actually is fine there, too, because I just left. Meteor and left? Okay. Oh. Okay. Which one's that? Cryptus? I wonder why she... She she just lost her T1 and she paused? Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. We'll see what they do here. They might actually be on Bull Demon. They might not. I don't see any effects on my screen right now. So you can see up here behind my mini map, there's no effects going on. There's something right here, but I think what this is right here is just where the Bull Demon King is standing. It could be an effect of his um, club, like hitting the ground or something. I've told you the guys that before, where effects have a longer draw distance, like a, a longer render distance than player models do. So if somebody's player model is way down the lane, it's not always going to load. But if they are, you know, beating Schmeet, then it will probably show, like, the effect of that Schmeet being beat, you know? So you got to look out for stuff like that. So that's why I was like, yeah, they're probably not even on this bull demon. She's overcalling it. I got you, Chief. Fuck off, my boy. Let's heal him here. Big Cockenstein. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprint him. Knock this guy up. Nice stun here. I'm gonna go ahead and fall in here. We'll make sure they get to the other side. I think that's all we're gonna do here. Start leveling my two now. Ah, oh, on four. No worries though. You wanna heal, big man? There you go. We do have enough for a full breastplate of Valor. Looks like Curtis is pushing up right just because Medusa's double clearing there. I don't really care. They're just stacking my prophetic, to be honest with you. <laughs> like, that's all I'm really trying to do here. Nice wrap. Good CC chain by me. We have a lot of healing between me and Baron. They'll have to prioritize some anti-heal if they're smart. Honk. Did hit him with that slow. Again, I'm going to go back to base here really quick. Just looking for some extra farm. So there you go. He gets me to 11 there. Nope. Going to catch out his dash there. I was waiting for that. As soon as he actually had some ICC and damage on my Baron, I was like, oh, he's probably just going to try to dash him. So I immediately waited until his dash was starting, caught it on the first couple ticks of its uh, animation, and then just kind of canceled it there. Uh, I'll actually get myself a Pestilence, just because they do have a raw, so we want to take care of that healing. And oh yeah, that freaking Stygian. I should have paid more attention to that. Oh gosh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Shoot. I don't want her to die. You might know I'm here. Enemy spotted. Your 
Keep me on yellow. She'll be fine. Okay, he's walking away. Awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot. No, my girl. No! You little bit. You little bit. I don't have enough damage for that. I was trying to get there quick enough, but unfortunately I just couldn't do that. That sucks. She's dead for 24, so we should hold her waves. I see we do pretty good damage. Again, our warrior. Can I hold this? No, I'm not holding this way. I'm going to clear it. Get a little solo farm. Because if I hold it, I'll just take a bunch of damage, and it doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, I see you there, butt boy. You're addicted to me. I get it. I get it. Just kind of screwing with this guy a little bit. Hello. Yeah, you use your dash into my boy. I'm gonna try to knock up his dash. But, uh, his cooldowns are taking too long anyways. I guess his two wasn't up. Herb just used her movement ability. Let me use my uh, horn shard here. Hit some autos when we can. Stunning. Unfort. Unfort. They might gank us here. <laughs> we do have minions in the tower. You wanna get a yellow buff? Nice stun. Yeah, we're goochin'. Honestly, we're kind of just distracting them as the rest of our team tears them up. We're not gonna do this right now, Medusa, but... I'll put down my turkey robot. Oh, what are they doing here? We're kind of like... I think we would be winning by more, but I think it's kind of because this Maman, while a good player, is a bit of a, a loser. Like, just constantly salty, it seems. Nice pull. She's just like, wah, wah, have fun, have fun, every time she fucks up, and it's like, Chief... Your over-aggression isn't anybody's fault but your own. Don't go try and blame other people for that. Like, you could at any time. Get this first, if you want, you want cooldowns, don't you? No, 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 don't wait. Get this, get this. She'll find another farm. She's level 16. Let's, let's be honest with our, each other here. Like, you know what you want, though, when you have a red buff? You want cooldown. Make sure you switch it, Big Chief, man. You weren't going to switch that. You were just going to let it go like that, huh, Chieftain? Hit your stuff there. We can start leveling our ult now. To level 3. Hello there. Oh, I'm not going to hit you, but that was a nice... some nice little thorny thorns you popped. Okay. Well, I'm going to grab my green buff. We're almost done on magical stacks. We can get cooldowns now. This is full cooldowns with these three items. Love it. I got glad shield yesterday. Um, we had more ways to proc it on Odin since we had our 1, 2, and 3 that do damage. Uh, on this god. I'd rather not go that and probably... We're going to go with the Pestilence, like I said. Which we should almost be able to get full. Okay, we can get full Pestilence, so... I'm actually just going to go back to base and get a Pestilence. We're three levels ahead of our lane opponent, being the Kuzumbo. Another thing you do quite often... Oop, wait, let me... I'm gonna get a blink, by the way. Another thing you do quite often on these warrior supports. Yeah, yeah, that's a good call. Let's, de let's defend that Stygian. Hello there. Turn around, I'm ulting in. Oh! Big stunners. I was trying to sprint so I could catch up to Raw, but... I kind of didn't have to. Hopefully she kills those minions really quick. I have Blink here, remember? 
Uh, let's see what they want to do. I don't need to heal anybody here. Knocking up both. Slowing both. There we go. So I was waiting for her to push in and kill the tower. Works for me. No, it's no problem. You didn't know I was going to blink in. All I could count on was you following up the best you could, and you did. And we also got the tower. So, I gotta interrupt the uh, ability on these little suckers. Hello there. Stunning. Gonna wait for his speeds to wear off. Oh, really? It's okay. Let me go ahead and give her some frots. Instantly stunning again. Now, this is a time... I can't get out with this, unfortunately. She ditched me there a little bit, but... Actually, she had ult, so she really sh probably should have thrown that at least. Would have been a nice start, but... And we have Oracle, so we know they're not going for Gold Fury. That's the only thing. We need to start getting objectives now. Let's Medusa building. Oh. Into a fail knot? She wants 30% cooldown off those two items, and then what's she going to end with? A, a Chen's? Or more crit. I assume not more crit, because she's not even... Probably a chance. That's going to be my guess. Okay. What kill me the most there? Oh, tower shots. I mean, I could go for an Emperor's Armor. Now, you want to cool down. It's a physical cooldown item really quick. Um, Again, the Glad Shield. That's why I picked it last time. No, you don't have cooldown on you. Cool down here really quick. We'll get out of base in a second. It's 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 chilling. We'll make sure they get to the awesome. Let's just grab a mantle. I actually really like mantle. When it pops instead of a team fight, it's just flexy. What do you prepping actually? We'll overstack a little bit on cooldown. I gotta remember for level 15. I can just get my freaking start item upgraded. Duh. We'll get that in a second. Spartan Flag is a nice upgrade, but it's not like the be-all, end-all. Uh, they're really far in their jungle there. Kind of worries me, but it's chill. We're full cooldown now. Start building green. 2,500 health to 3,000 health. You can see how much health you get from this uh, Tiki. Uh, I like the call. I can tank it if you want, buddy. Or you can. Just chilling. We'll hit him with a three. Good call. Let's go ahead and ping these oracles so they know I want to grab those. Okay. Where did the little bro just go? Easy stun. Into a knockup. Healing. I'm gonna sprint everybody here. I kind of think we have some push to do. With my extra movement speed, I was able to catch him. Knocking up now. Slowed. Let's go ahead and heal whoever needs it. We're all calling Fire Giant. I think we all kind of see the, the, the thread line here. We're gonna ping her just so everyone knows. Hey, look who's here. Dashing in. Immediately stunning. Whoa, he went the other. Oh, uh, I think it was Osiris passive, perhaps. I pop a ward there. I'm gonna go ahead and just start this up. I can tank if you want. I can knock this up to interrupt in a second. Here we go. Easy slow on it. Although, you know, slow isn't really the thing that matters on the pyro. Oh my god, you both just... <laughs> okay. Nice job. I want to get this middle lane XP. Just because I want to get to level 20. Hello there. Interesting. Team's gonna defend. She's actually ganking. I'll right use my dash. Maybe I get some distance here. I'll get on yeah. Way. I don't think we catch her. She should be gone already. Oh, hello. Attack. I'm ulting in. Give a little shield to Medusa. I'm going to keep her alive more than anything. Just healing her there. Medusa's cutting off in lane. Noise. Okay. Nice Need 1900? 1500 for this? You get my yeah, get my green buff for me really quick, and then I'm gonna back to pace. Awesome. I'm returning to base. Be right back. Hell 
And then let's go Fire Giant after this. I need a few more physical stacks. Can't grab that yet. Just get a regular reward then. You can see how often we're just ulting. Going with our 2s, our 1s. They're getting Stygian. If they push Baron out at least. He should have a good lead on it though. And I'm on the way to help him right now. I can dash to either of them to heal them. Which we will here. I'm going to use my uh, sprint on these guys. Instantly. Awesome. Knocking up. Slowing. Doubling my ult. Let's go ahead and heal these dupers. It does have a little AoE on it. Some stun. Get off my boy, you fucking suck. Let's go ahead and try to cut cut off a little bit. No one followed me. If they would have just hopped in. Why are you running behind me now? Okay, now she's running away. Should be an easy sun by her. I'm gonna go into a knockup here. Awesome. Dashing into this guy. Instant stun to just peel him off. I'm gonna use our autos here. Even if we just slow him, couldn't get either. Easy stun. Autoing. I'm gonna call Fire Giant, but unfortunately, we don't have the damage for it because of who died. So I guess instead we're just gonna we're just gonna chill. Really, I'm just gonna follow this little chuckle fuck through the uh, jungle here. I need to look for one more physical stack to complete my uh, my prophetic here. Oh. Let's go ahead and just grab blue buff. I don't really care at this point. I should get my green because it has the green tiki on it too. Huh. I'm going to say ultimate is ready. If anybody wants to do anything kooky here, we can. You want to heal, buddy? There you go. You can see pretty good heal. Nothing crazy, but with his heals and mine all together. It adds up to some pretty good stuff. You want their red? I guess you already have yours. No, he doesn't want their red, because if he grabs their red, his tiki will disappear. Kind of a silly interaction, but... It's going to how Hyrus wants it. Oh. Enemy spotted. Enemy spotted. Hello there. Enemy spotted. Be careful. Where are you going? Why are you following me? Okay. Kill the Nene. Ouch. Kill his ass. Nah, I'm sprinting the boys. We're getting this man. I'll attack Fire Giant now. They have a Wardington's here. Okay. Somebody get that effigy. Thank you. Ah. Alright, let's pop our Baron's Brew. We're just going to go ahead and kind of goof on this. Now, here's some fun tech you can do. You can start channeling your ult. And you can look for where you're going to go after this Fire Giant's finished. And then, as they secure, we have some shields. I'm just going to peel this guy off, by the way. Oh my god. I'm going to say middle lane, because we already have some uh, minions here. I didn't get to do exactly what I wanted with the ult there, because they started pushing in to our fire giant. Usually you want people to stay on the outskirts of it, because they're trying to like see if they can walk in. And then you walk in to them with your ult. Hit a stun on her. Oof, okay. We're doing good tanking, but we should be a little careful. Big stun. I'm afraid we're dead here, but that was a nice knockup. I'm just playing with my boy here. Two warriors are better than one. Unfortunately, I left my Baron Somdi, but I'm not going to apologize too much just because I know this guy's following and we can all burn him down together. That's the hope, at least. Healing the team. We need to watch our backs. Oof. I'm going to go in and see if someone wants to get a shield here. Easy stun. I'm sprinting her. 
Aw. Oh. oh, you left me and I was gonna dash to you. What a fucker. After I saved your little nasty life? He needs to pay more attention. He has so much damage on that Arthur, but... He's not letting me, uh... Give him shields and stuff for free. That could really... Take it to the next level for him. Okay, how does my ult work with these? Because... See when it says when your ultimate ability is finished casting, you create an explosion. Um, and you can... It goes again. Let's go red. Maybe that one will work better. I'm actually not quite sure. Let's spawn for 18 seconds so I can take a quick sip of watering tins here. Alright, that's a nice smack from them. We're not even going to lose a bird. Great ult from Baron Zombie. Very good situational awareness to see. Okay, there's one left. Let me pop that really quick. Misses two, but it's not that big of a deal. As long as he gets a snake, it should be easy to clap, and that guy's going to hold himself still anyways. Let them smack it down. Uh, we can get Stygian and Gold Fury. would be nice for us. So we should do that. Yeah, I, I'm on this. You only need one person to get stagy, and it goes faster when there's more people in it, but look how fast it's going anyways. And also, we already have a King Arthur there who can heal, or can tank, and I can heal him afterwards. Uh, but Medusa is a big part of our damage for objectives, so we need her to go get it. It doesn't make sense for her to sit here. See, I can just go ahead and put a little heal on him, and we'll do that as many times as we can with a basically 8 second cooldown, I think this is. 7.8, yeah. You know, we, we can heal him up. Plus, he also has a bunch of HP 5, and he has Fire Giant still on him, so he has that healing him too. I'm gonna go ahead and start this up. See, he's already full health. I'm gonna interrupt right now. Hit that big boy. I don't have any wards on me, unfortunately, because I was kind of out of moneying tins when I kicked it out. I'm gonna go grab some wards now. Actually, yeah, I have to sell my Baron's Brew because I have the. Cancel that. It's okay. Baron's Brew, you've been good to me, but it's a time for you to, time for you to leave. So we have cool, full cooldown. They have three fizz, right? Yeah, they have three fizz. So we need to get one more item here. We've been sieging a lot. This is an item that I think is kind of slept on. Uh, it's called Emperor's Armor. Probably don't see it in too many ear matches. I can show it to you before we auto walk back to the uh, fire giant here. But essentially, it just gives you the ability to buff and nerf towers with a bunch of health and then physical protections. I'll put a I'll put a sentry on there. Don't worry. Although, Madame Bridget has one too. I got it, Bridget. Let me do that. The sky illuminates my enemies. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh my God, we're actually going for this. I think. Homie, where are you? Arthur, you. Oh. What the fuck, bro? Just ditches me. Like, what the fuck? I'm gonna land here, I'm gonna use my blink and my sprint, and we're gonna go crazy with it. Bro's just chilling there, doing his best cosplay of a fucking bar park bench, like, not moving. Congratulations, you look just like it, but... Man, wanna help me out? Damn, bro. Not the vibe. Let's go ahead and get a little Healy protections on that. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna use a sprint on my team. I'm gonna get to my Arthur too, because he has a nice catch out here. Easy stun. Easy knock up slow. I'm gonna go ahead and secure that kill there. Awesome. I'm gonna say attack left lane. There's a little rage quit for us. Beauty, we'll get this guy some brats on him. I don't want to say all attack. I have a bomb here, so I can put it on top and smackers this thing down. And then I can go ahead and go straight to mid. Bruh, you're kind of nutty with it. Okay. Easy stun. Easy knock up. Follow with the team here. That's what we're looking for with the blink. Easy initiation. Go in. Trick them out. They don't know what's going on in their fucking lives, baby. All right, GGs, you like to see it. Arthur makes me wanna 
eat a cream pie, but an oatmeal cream pie from the Little Debbie Corporation, you freaks. What were you? Get your mind out of the gutter. Oh my God. But if you never smacked on an oatmeal cream pie, oh my God, that is like a top tier. Bro, they're bringing back chocolate Lucky Charms, but this time they're making them chocolate, chocolate Lucky Charms because they have chocolate marshmallows too. I'm sorry, I'm, you don't even probably care, but like it's awesome. Okay, well, unfortunately, because of those losses we got the other day, uh, we're not going to be able to go straight into gold, but at least we're out of bronze and we're in to silver too now. And look, I got top healing, which is actually kind of crazy considering I'm a Baron Zombie. Hell yeah, I beat him by like 4k. I was warding most on our team. I had pretty solid damage too, honestly. Only 3k behind my Medusa. Uh, about 6k behind that Baron Zombie. I was at 16,999. <laughs> but that's pretty good stuff there. We actually got up to Silver 2 and we already have 40 TP. Okay, we got 40 from that. So we have 14 towards our next fill up. So hopefully we can cross our fingers and keep getting good teammates like this. Like I actually got definitely like gold players there. And it, that's all I need is to just go crazy with some gold players and we just like... We'll ace it up like that. Anyways, that was a fun one. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, you don't leave me a like or subscribe. I'd very much appreciate that. If you want to see more in the future, make sure you do tell me in the comments that you're enjoying the series because I really appreciate it. Uh, if you have any feedback, I'd appreciate that too. As long as it's actually constructive and positive, then I always love to hear from you guys. If you want to go ahead and check out the stream tonight that I'm going to have with my boy or I'm teaching him how to play Smite, make sure you do click his Twitch stream down in the description. As when you're in the description as well, if you're planning on buying a Founders Pack for Smite 2, if you want to do it while you're supporting the channel, you can buy it from my Smite Nexus and that'll be a little kickback for me and we all win in that situation. Now, all that being said, I think that is it for me today. So as always, have a great day.